Hey guys, so the next step to the aquarium setup is to hook up and test the CO2 regulator. I got this CO2 regulator from a place called CO2 Art. They're actually very popular in Europe and they're gaining popularity in the US as well. Um, I got a, a kit from them that includes everything I'm going to need. I even ordered an extra part, which is this CO2 paintball adapter. So you're going to need this to connect this regulator to a paintball, a standard paintball tank like this. Mine's is a 24 ounce. There's various different sizes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove this yellow protective cap. Now, before you install this, um, what you wanna do is you wanna spin this counterclockwise. Make sure this little pin that's inside is retracted all the way down. And then go ahead and start connecting it. Uh, for this, I checked inside, they've already included a washer inside, so I don't need to install an another washer in there. So let's go ahead and tighten this on there. Just by hand, you don't need to use a wrench on this. Now, I didn't tighten it all the way, just leave it loose for now. Just as long as it's slightly tightened. Next step is we're going to need to hook up the regulator to the adapter on this side here. You don't want to be holding on to the regulator when you're tightening it onto the tank. There we go. Now that it's somewhat in, I'm going to rotate it upward. And I'm going to tighten it by hand first. And then the rest of the way, you're supposed to use an adjustable wrench to tighten it using this part here. Now, I don't have an adjustable wrench in hand, so I'm going to use this, but I'm going to use it very carefully because I don't want to scratch the surface here. So I'm going to wrap this with tape real quick, and then I'm going to use this to go ahead and tighten it. So I decided to go ahead and just use a cloth instead of tape. Now, you don't want to put way too much pressure on this, just enough to make it snug all right so i got this as tight as i want it to be it's nice and snug it's not loose but it's not overly tightened either the washer inside is going to help not release or for the co2 not to escape so you don't have to over tighten it or anything like that um, and then when you're tightening it, you want to have this rotated in such a way where it ends up being upright like this. So it's easy to see these gauges and the bubble counter and all that stuff. This is the valve to regulate the PSI on this side of the regulator. And I have it completely closed right now. All right, so I'm going to slowly turn this valve here to let the air out from this tank. But before I do that, I haven't fully tightened this together yet. I'm going to go ahead and use my hand to tighten it as much as I can. That's about as tight as I can get it with my hands. You don't want to use a wrench on this. So now I'm going to go ahead and let the air out. You should see this gauge here hit between six, 700 to 1000. There we go. So it's hitting about, uh, I'd say close to about 900. That's a full tank. As the tank depletes, it's gonna go lower and lower. Once it gets into the red zone below 500, that's when you need to replace the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in this bubble counter. Let's unscrew it from its location. All right, so I've went ahead and filled this container with water. You could use tap water if you like. I just used my RO water, which is what I'm using for my tank. There we go. I'm gonna put this back into its place. Just hand tighten the, this, of course. Don't use any tools on it. There we 
There we go. All right, so next step. I'm gonna make sure the needle valve here is closed all the way. And on my regulator, it shows which direction to turn it, to turn it off. So mine's is, counter, uh, mine's is clockwise to turn it off or close it. So it's closed. Next step, I'm gonna slowly open this valve here to let the air, to let the CO2 through to this side. And you'll see how much PSI builds up over here. What you want is between 30 to 40, usually. I'm gonna go ahead and set mines to somewhere in between 30 and 40. I'm turning it clockwise, there it goes. Slowly building up. Almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and stop right about there. Now check with your diffuser. The diffuser you guys are using, uh, it'll tell you what PSI you should have it set to. A lot of these regulators are actually not adjustable. There's no knob here and they're already preset to between 30 and 40 so you don't have to do it yourself. But this regulator gives you this option and so it's really nice to have this option because in the future, if you have more than one diffuser going to multiple tanks or you're splitting the CO2 over here to multiple tanks, you'll have a little bit more control over what you want to do with your PSI. I'm going to go ahead and connect the solenoid and it comes with this adapter. I installed this tip here with the CO2 art regulator when I bought the kit and it came with this adapter. It also came with a lot of different tips for different countries um, and different voltages. Like for example, this one will work anywhere between 100 and 240 volts. So it's a, it's a very uh, universal adapter. If you guys are in a different country, um, it'd be good to know that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to the solenoid first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the wall. I'll hold it. There it goes. Uh, I heard the click, which is the relay that's in the solenoid, just turned on. And you get a little red light indicating that it's on. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly release until there's bubbles coming out. Let's see if I could get a nice view of this for you guys. There we go. And this needle valve is actually very delicate. Now for me, I wanna put this at around one bubble per second, maybe even less because I have a very small tank. All right, so next up, I'm gonna actually put a diffuser in a, water, a cup of water to test that it's working. This is the diffuser here. And this actually came in the same kit that I bought the regulator. They have two different sizes you get to select from when you buy it online from their site. This is the smaller one for uh, any, anything less than 250 liters, it says here. Also, I also went ahead and bought as an extra, this is not part of the kit, this check valve here. And this is going to allow me to make sure basically that water is not going to backflow into the regulator. Alright, so what I want to do here is unscrew this cap. And I've cut a piece of uh, CO2 tubing, which also came, by the way, in the kit. And I'm going to go ahead and put it through. Push this side in. It's got to go all the way in. And then you're going to lower the cap and secure it in place. Just like that. Now on top of this tube, I'm going to go ahead and install the check valve. On the check valve it reads, let's see if you guys can see that, it says free flow with an arrow. So water will, water entering, water or air or whatever entering uh, the check valve this way is not blocked. But this way, water gets blocked. Things cannot go this way, but they can go this way. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, install it like this. 
just like that. Next up, from this side, I'm going to connect the longer piece of tube. Make sure you push it all the way in. All right, so there's our check valve, and here's the other end of the tube. Now on this end of the tube, I'm going to go ahead and install the diffuser. Uh, this part here, the ceramic part, is very uh, delicate. You don't want to touch that with your fingers. Your, the oils in your fingers will actually go in and destroy the little pores that are in there. So I'm going to go ahead and not touch that. I'm going to open this cap up. There you go. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. This is actually the perfect cup because it <laughs> sort of holds it from the sides into place. All right, so to induce bubbles to come out, I'm going to go ahead and open this much further. And we'll see bubbles appearing. Now, it's recommended that you run this for a little while so that the pores open up. Mm-hmm. 